Oh, there's a button for that. Okay, we're just going to do that. So randomize all but scenario. And this is our going to be our person, a 17-year-old uh, juvenile delinquent. Wow, <laughs> what, a, what a start. Um, our intelligence and perception aren't that great, but at least we're strong. Oh, yeah. So here we are in, a, in the big world, the big wide world. Let's see what knowledge we have of the world around us. What is this? Military base. Um, you know, that would be really good, but I think it's probably better to just avoid it, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know what we would do about it. A mansion. Now that's interesting. Oh, is that a, is that a cabin? It's a house. Hello, Christy. What's your deal? Uh, let's look at him. Wielding a hatchet, intimidating, in a backpack. Other than that, just kind of dressed normally, aside from the medical gloves. What do you like? You're a miser, you're self-centered, and timid. Hmm. What do you think we should do, Christy? Uh, look for supplies and survivors. Fair enough. Do you want me to do anything? Did you know cattails are a source of jelly that works as an antiseptic? Collect 80 cattail stalks, and I'll show you how to harvest the jelly. Sure. Oh, a free duffel bag. Nice. Um, yeah, let's see what we got on us. Marbles and slingshots. Wow, is that what delinquents use? A uh, comic book. Very delinquity. Which is interesting. Um, but first of all, let's get our scenario victory condition. Because, I don't know, I feel like this is a good, good victory condition for the evacuee scenario. The goal is to get to whoop, the refugee center. And it looks like we rolled pretty bad in terms of distance. Actually, it could be worse. It could be worse. But yeah, let's look around and see what little goodies we're starting with here in our survivor shelter. Um, Take the water and the protein rations. Don't care about the whistles. A battery. That's good. Have I already grabbed the flashlight? I don't remember. I do. And now I have a battery? I do. So now I can reload my flashlight. My newly acquired flashlight. And grab this water. Cool, 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 cool. Anything fun in the garbage? Just some newspaper. I don't care about the news. Some bleach and a scrub brush. Excellent. Bunch of rations. Don't need that many. And an electric, an electric lantern. That's quite a good find. So, uh, on the chance that you somehow stumbled across this video and you don't know about CDDA, um, it's basically if Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode took place in the apocalypse. A lot of things you wouldn't expect to be able to do, you can just kind of do in this game. And a lot of things you wouldn't expect to kill you will just kill you, so, you know. Par for the course. Now I want to go see if there's any roof alcohol, because that's always fun. Punch it real good. Victory. And now let's catch our breath. One more punch for fun. And just also for fun, let's uh let's wield this plank. Now we can beat people with a plank of wood. And I'm also gonna take the nails for good luck. Roof alcohol, what do we got this time? That is paint. <laughs> uh, let's see what's going down in the spooky basement. Actually, wait, first. Let me mark all these recipes off and try to find... Can we make a headlamp? Hmm? Ah. Wrong button. Head. No, we can't. Interesting. Don't know how. We're too stupid. Let's activate our flashlight. Right. Um, some protein rations. Ooh, toilet rations. Those taste extra good in my experience. A cigarette butt. Those don't taste that good in my experience. And a first aid kit. Excellent. We will actually just kind of loot everything in here. Even the medical scissors. Because these can be used to cut fabric. Which uh, uh, is quite useful for crafting, as you might imagine, when you want to cut fabric. Check over here. Anything jazzy in the closet? Some water. That's pretty jazzy. Nothing interesting. Don't need any more of these protein rations. 
Ooh, a cartoon dust mask. I will wear that for good luck. Just so we have a dust mask. What are you? A deck of cards and an emergency blanket. Very nice. So nice that I'm going to abandon it and not think about it ever again. And I think we have gathered everything from here that I'm interested in gathering. And now the only question is, do we want to fulfill the quest for this, um, what is your name again? Terrible memory. I know, I just talked to you. A uh, Crystal Howard. Crystal or Crystal? Christy. Wow, I can't even attempt to get her name right. The only other thing I can think we'd want to do next immediately after this, we could just start walking. A vehicle would be amazing. I don't think we're going to find anything useful near here. We could check the mansion, but I have a feeling if we go to the mansion, there's going to be a bunch of zombies there and then we're going to get bogged down for a long time. Um, we could just walk along the road forever until we find something snazzy. What are you? A riverside dwelling. Okie doke. We could also check to see what it is west of the military encampment. But I honestly don't want to go anywhere near it. Like, at all. Like, uh... Yeah, it's, it's literally surrounded by a minefield. Like, I don't really want to bother with that. So let's actually see if we do a quest for this person. Christy. And uh, we'll, we'll get her cattails, and then maybe she will follow us into um, wherever we want to go. Drop the sling bag, and then we're going to harvest a lot of cattails. What are we up to? Um, 85. We're overachievers. Hello. Talk. I, but I, but I did. But I, but I have them. But I have the things you want me to have. Why are you like this? What's your deal? Collect 80. Raise your survival skill to at least one. Oh, I didn't realize that was a requirement. Um, what is my survival skill at? Ranged crafting. Crafting? Survival is at 59. <sighs> Alright, fine. Get more cattail stalks for you. How long has it been? It's it's literally, the day's almost over. I spent the entire day picking cattails. Wow. She better follow us. If she doesn't follow us... There's a marble with her name written on it. Blackjack oak, what does that do for us? Oh, that does survival too. What does a blackjack oak even have? Does it have blackjacks and other things? Tan bark. Tan and rich bark. Useful for tanning. All right, whatever. Uh, it's so useful to us that I'm just gonna throw it on the ground like it's worthless. Cause it is. Mission success. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Man, I wish we could have kept a duffel bag. Wanna trade? I could sell you my cattail stocks. Some lunatic just asked me to get a bajillion of them, and I'm really not sure what to do with them, to be perfectly honest. A zipper bag with seven cattail jelly. Wow. Where would my cattail stocks be? Where are they? Did I zoom right past them? Are they still in the duffel bag that you took with you? Did you just steal all my cattail stocks? You did. You have all 49 of them. Wow. Well, um, may as well just ask. Um, want to travel with me? Persuade. We're friends, aren't we? Yeah, I don't think so. Wow. You're rude. And I guess let's just wander out into the void. Um, where do we want to be a wonder in? We'll aim for here. And then maybe we can make it to this trailhead and then follow the trailhead to this, um, nondescript house. What time is it? It's 6 p.m. I actually have no idea if that's enough time to make it. Can we see anything exciting from here? Nope, we can't see the mines ahead of time. Well, that's fine. 
you could really use some friendly company. Yeah, I don't really know if uh, that company... Actually, very explicitly, she said she's not our friend, so a dermatic. Um, yeah, I don't want anything to do with that. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. A colorful parasort parasitoid wasp, grown to the size of a dog, with a huge oviposis ov God, ovipositor extruding from her abdomen. She darts around in search of a suitable home for her many, many children. I, I think that's what we don't want to do. So I'm just going to ignore that dermatic. Zoom way, way out. And then we're going to... Yep, that's a wasp nest over there. Actually, no, is that a spider nest? There's a wasp nest and a spider nest right next to each other. Do they get along? Like, right, right next to each other. Wow. It is faster than you. Well, that's intimidating. What are you? Dermatic larva. Yeah, want nothing to do with you. I'm surprised that they can live next to the wasps. Um, wasps and spiders living together. Mass hysteria. I'm hysterical just thinking about it. That's a short bridge. Oh, ooh. We're gonna... Hmm. We're gonna do a little trick I like to call crouching down and hoping no one sees us. Hello? What is this? What actually is this? That's a police car. These are tents. And there's blood absolutely everywhere. What are you? Playboy. No, thank you. I'm fine. Empty police car. What are you? <laughs> Chunks of flesh. Is there anything worth having in here? No, it's just completely demolished. Those are some clips of ammunition. Anything? No, no, no. Well, 223s. I guess I'll take the standing magazine. Ooh, those are actually pretty useful. Those are mines. Okay. Um. This is getting exciting faster than I thought. What do you have to say, sign? Warning sign. Oh, sign, danger, minefield. Yeah, just mine the road, why don't you? What are you? Are you just a bicycle wheel? Someone, someone didn't mind the sign. Where are we? Town to the east. We want to head south towards the trailhead. Maybe we'll find a uh, car parked down here with some snacks and maybe even a toolkit. That would be quite nice. Because then we can... Oh, no, nope, wait. Doesn't look like we're going to get my get my wish. We've got a toilet. Currently not simulated in the game, and hopefully never simulated. Because I'm pretty sure all that would do was just <laughs> make, uh, make everything a little bit more gross. <laughs> we'll forage while we're here. I mean, if they're just going to throw forageable little things right in front of us. Plant stalks. You know, I'm, 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 I'm full. I'm fine. I've had, an, I've had my fill of stalks right now. Bad memories with the uh, obnoxious people who aren't worth my time. Foraging everyone as we go. A thermos? What kind of bush grows thermoses? An underbrush grows thermoses. Okay. I guess that's mine now. A cave. This will be fine. We're a delinquent, right? A delinquent would totally check out a cave. I forgot our name again. <laughs> Carlene. Go, Carlene. Oh, that's a zombie. There's a zombie in the cave. Is that another delinquent who made the same mistake we're about to? No, that's just the town. There's a town right next to the cave, or a cave right next to a town. They can't see us, so we are going to pretend we don't see them, and just go all the way back. Oh, I see a sign. Save me. Oh, no, thank you. What does it say? Leave no trace. You can't tell me what to do. 
Oh, it is just part of the town. Wow. And there's a fun little... Hmm. Okay, we are, we're at a little bit of crossroads. A little bit of a crossroads. Where, where are you? Shooting range? We walked right past that? You know, totally of my own decision. I just decided I'm going to go back the way we came. So far, it actually appears to be wholly undefended. What? Hello? Is anybody home? No? Really? Really? You're just gonna just leave this for me? Big old American flag. Oh, that's a lot of bullet casings. Slaughter Family Shooting Range. Is that a name or is that a command? Open sunrise to sunset, every day besides Sundays. Sounds about right. Ooh. And you are some just a just a pistol with ammunition for it and some magazine. I'm just gonna hope you don't mind if I just borrow that. Your plugs, yep. And you Oh wow. Yeah, just there's just guns here. Like whole guns, entire guns. 556 five, ammunition. Buy your mini carbide. What are you like? What is your deal? One gun quality. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense to me. I guess let's just wield it and we'll drop our wooden club. I mean, we've got something better, right? Could we sleep here, actually? We could use the American flag as a blanket <laughs> and sleep on this chair. It is getting kind of late. I think that's a plan. The most patriotic way in place to sleep. Unless that's blasphemy. Is it blasphemy to use the American flag as a blanket? Unsure. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go back and grab you. We all do you. And we are actually going to do some marksmanship practice uh, while there's still sunlight. I think that'd be a good use of time, because if I'm looking at our skills, um, ranged skills, marksmanship, we have one. Handguns, we have zero. And rifles, we have zero. So we could certainly be better. Let's see, do we have a practice recipe for these? No. Hmm. Well, now we're in a pickle, because there's not really anything we can do before nightfall, but I don't want to waste our time. Uh, we could train our shooting skill by just murdering some local wildlife. That's an American classic. Where's that comorant? Hello there. Would you hold still for me? It's fleeing. Not for long. Precise. It got away. The bastard. <laughs> Well, let's see, what can we do? We could probably just reload some things. Actually, first, let's unload some things. Because um, this, I think we only have one magazine for that. So you use 223. Then why did we find you with two Mini 14 magazines with 556? <sighs> I don't usually use guns. Fouling is created by firing gunpowder loads magazines. repeatedly. Well, we're not using gunpowder. Wait, 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 Can I reload the nice ask you. Whip strong button. mini carbine? You could install it in a vehicle. I don't usually use guns. Fouling is created by firing gunpowder loads repeatedly. It will. And it's empty one Okay, we'll reload the other one. And then I will, with the other ammunition, reload. Yeah, the type of shot is only five plus six. It just doesn't use the type that I want to use. That's all. 223 Remington. I really don't know what I was trying to do there, but I hope I did it. Uh, <laughs> that's the right, that's the right approach to have, right? Whatever. Yep. Definitely time to go to bed. Um, we burned a lot of flashlight, but that's fine. And let's sleep with our American flab, flab, our American flag. And we don't need an alarm. We have evolved beyond the needs for such petty things. Snuggled up under an American flag while cradling a firearm. Carly and Ants, her first day since the beginning of the cataclysm. She's defied trail signs, navigated a minefield, 
and spent way too long mucking about in a swamp looking for cattails, only for Christy to steal all of them and then not. All in all, a pretty good day. Even if it was a little low on that special kind of excitement that comes from being reminded of your own mortality. Something the next day would be more than happy to provide for her. Um, alright, now check the logs. No, we didn't use the American flag. Okay. Oh, no, 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 we did. You used the American flag to keep warm. Excellent. Well, now let's take our, uh... <laughs> after such an American night, let's, uh, start heading north along this road. So let's zoom way, 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 way the heck out and let's get going. Oh, Amigo? Uh-oh. Is there a Miko Tower? There's an exclamation mark. That means there's something interesting over there. Can we kill Amigo? Alien creature of uncertain origin, its shapeless pink body bears numerous sets of paired appendages of unknown function, and a pair of ribbed, membranous wings that seem to be quite useless. Its odd, vaguely pyramid-shaped head bristles with numerous wavering antennae, and it moves with an uncanny fluidity upon its many legs. Gross. And just murdered a thing? What did it just kill? Pulped corpse... Cor pulp... Oh my god. A pulped corpse of a human. I think... I think there's only one thing we can do. And hope it ends well? Oh, there's a Kraken. Are they murdering each other? If I remember correctly, Krakens are friendly. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of blood. Oh yeah, it's about to die. It's not putting up much of a fight, is it? It is not. It doesn't appear aggressive. Well, it's about to be dead, so... You know, how aggressive or not it is doesn't really matter to me. Has it seen us? No, not yet. It's moving towards us. It's in range. Hmm. It hasn't seen us, but it is moving directly. Oh, it can see us. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a little exclamation mark. Um. So. So. Uh. Oh, it's closer now. And it's closer. And it's closer. We haven't hit it yet. We haven't hit it a single time. Oh boy. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm feeling great about my choices. Uh-huh. Three more rounds. Uh, and I guess let's, uh... How long is this going to take? Uh-oh. Well, I fucked something up. <laughs> oh, it's not in range. Um, well, let's switch. let's switch to running real quick. And let's just wait a moment. Yeah, I know. At least we've got 15 shots. Uh, I don't feel good about this. Did we hit it? Oh, we hit it. Minor bleeding. Oh, it's so close. Oh, we're so bad at shooting. Five shots. Heavy artillery or bleeding. Okay, we're this is good. This is good. Oh, it's running away. It's afraid. And it got away. Uh, well, you know, let's take this moment actually to just reload our uh, pistol because I'm not feeling. 
I don't care. It, what if it just suddenly is, is better? You know, what if it's just all of a sudden fine and it's just hustling me? Uh, so let's chase it down. Still bleeding. Close the range a little. Careful aim. Careful aim again. Did we get it? Can we just let it bleed out? Try to cut it off. Ha <laughs> ha! Amazing. We killed the Migo. Let's uh let's let's catch our breath. That was so exciting. <laughs> wow. Kaleen is, is on top of the world. She beat up Amigo. It looks kind of gross. Corpse of Amigo, fresh. They don't rise in the zombies. That's interesting. Weird. Oh, I still feel accomplished. Smash. Smoosh. Smoosh. Smo. Smishy. What are you guys doing over here? Ancient alien secrets. Well, you found an alien. Hope it was everything you dreamed. And what about you? Glimpses of Solomon in yellow. Huh. Someone has defaced the sparse citation section by scrawling Puppets of Rome over its few pages. Hmm. Okay, so these people were looking at the... <laughs> they were drunk off their asses, apparently. And they were... Oh, sleeping bag. Excellent. And they were um, looking to find some Eldritch monstrosities, and they got exactly what they asked for. Exactly. Uh, except this one. That, was just, that one was just reading about baseball. Um, how do we check this corpse? Yeah, it looks like everyone ran for a bit. Oh, that's the Kraken. I'm sorry, Mr. Kraken. I'm really curious what you're made of. Wow, you're full of a lot of stuff. I will take one bone. Because I, if I remember correctly, I need a bone for something. Um, I will also take your sinew. As gross as this is. Kaleen... Kaleen doesn't care about how gross it is. She wants that sinew. She probably just thinks that's kind of metal. And, like, that's where her thinking about it ends. She's like, you know what would be cool? What if I took the alien's connective tissue and, like, I used it to tie together, like, like a, a makeshift hatchet? That'd be cool. That's what's going through her brain right now. We haven't moved anywhere. That whole event, uh, wow, the whole event takes up a lot of brain space. Don't get too close to them. They're not friendly at all. Actually, you know, Kaline would totally take a pot shot, and she would use her expensive ammunition too. She's not feeling good, and she would take it out on these geese. And she would waste ammunition until it's completely out of her sight. <sighs> yep, that's what Kaline would do. Kaline is not a good person. There's another bridge over there, but why is there just a bridge to nowhere? Oh. Oh. What is this about? Smash. Smoosh. And smee. That's a mine. There are mines here? Okay. This is a bad idea. Why am I doing this? You know, let's go back the way we came. Yeah, I'm not... Why was I... I just wandered into a minefield. A rural church. A church might be a fun place to hole up for the night. But it's only early morning. Okay. We've made amazing time, despite the whole Amigo shooting debacle. You want to do Mozart, but the best you can do is Schubert. Apparently we can play the piano. would not have called it for Colleen. Bunch of umbrellas, some matches. We'll take those. Cross necklace. Nah. 
Nah. Reading sunglasses. Cheap wizard cane. It has a white light up orb on the end. Amazing. Colleen would think that's cringe. Oh, dark earrings? Nah, those go on. Those go on. Do you know how cool those look? A book of philosophy? That's not even a word. You're making stuff up now. My mom talks about philosophy. And I don't listen to her. I didn't, li didn't listen to her. I don't even think she's still around now. Shows what she knows. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, rain hood. Oh, you know, we, we'd wear the rain hood. Look at that. <laughs> this is what cool means. <laughs> a marble and a lighter. What do we have here? Lemon lime, some cherries, irradiated lemons. Uh, there we go, nice and bright. Let's place it right next to us. Uh huh. You know, probably should have done this in a different order. Nothing to read. Let's uh, actually activate the map we just picked up. Newton Survivor's Map. And what do you have for us? Oh my gosh. What is that? Just thing in the middle of nowhere. Just this one speck of road. Wow. So yeah, we're going to head north to this little squiggle of road. Um, and we're gonna ditch West Boylston, New Shoreham, West Bookfield, nerd name if ever I heard one. Colleen wouldn't dare go to an town named after a book. That's cringe, dude. Just wandering around with my spoon. Wandering around with my lantern. More marble. More marbles. I'm losing my marbles. And then I think that's all that the church has to offer us. Let's see what's going on up here. Oh, there's no way Colleen wouldn't. Awesome. Um, what now? Now, we are going to head... Do we still want to head to the Swamp Shack? Um, and where's the Swamp Shack, actually? Where are we? So it's up ahead and on the left. Or a Riverside Shack, not a Swamp Shack. Walk through the old burn pile. Approach the house. Is that a coffin? That's a lot of coffins. What is this place? Little roadside rest with a pipe. Uh, let's drop the lantern uh, momentarily. We are now a threat. Um, beer battered fried fish, yum. The rot just means it has extra flavor. Oh, is there any reason to be here? Wait, what? What is this? A wizard robe? A candle? Some jars with human blood. Are people like doing a DIY cult thing here? Let's draw our sidearm. Actually, am I willing to chance it? You know what, sure, I'm willing to chance it. Let's wait right here. One for every coffin? Oh, it looks like everything gets lost in the rubble. Or maybe I just can't access it from... Oh! You got off the... He was too smart. Or maybe not. <laughs> Definitely not. Ha 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 ha. More you. What's your deal? Come closer. Oh, where did you come from? Do you just keep coming out of these coffins? Infinite? Excuse me. Oh, you're almost dead, though. Mm 
Yeah, you just keep spawning? Or was that a corpse that came back? Okay. This is a little odd. I've never seen this place. <gasps> a backpack! It's disgusting, but who cares? Is that just paper wrapper? It is. Well, back to the DIY cult. With the honest to god jar of human blood. For some reason. We will take the candle. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Apparently. There's just some cultists that were hanging out over here, having a time. I mean, fair, I guess. Riverside Dwelling. I don't know if I'd call this a dwelling. But, using the power of Smash, we can harvest a Leeds Trail Guide and read it. Oh look, we even get a we even get a trail that can lead us right to where we want to go. That's quite handy. But I think this is enough of Colleen for the day. She has had quite quite the transformation. She is incredibly over encumbered. She killed a mutant eldritch alien. All at the young young age of seventeen. Now those are accomplishments even I can't shake a stick at. Mostly because I don't have any sticks nearby. Um recording in a closet coated in foam but you know uh, that's beside the point so i guess i guess that's it bye pulped course pulped cor <laughs> goose <laughs> there's a goose a geese <laughs>